I am going to show you five things you need to know about Gliracidia sepium. In my opinion, this is the powerhouse workhorse plant in your permaculture orchard. We're going to go through nitrogen fixing, chop and drop, propagation methods. We're going to talk about nurse tree shade tree and also don't forget you can use this tree as a windbreak and to stabilize a steep slope. If you want to see our whole principles of permaculture series, click the link above. Let's get to it. Okay, so nitrogen fixing, that's the next thing about Gliracidia. All of these are full of nitrogen and as we know, nitrogen equals green growth. So the technique that is often used is chop and drop where you take your big scissors and you cut off a bunch of branches and then you're just gonna lay it around the base of a tree. I'll show you that with this mango over here. Um, and that is gonna feed nitrogen down into the roots and it's gonna encourage growth in your tree. Now what you can also do, uh, I don't have a wood chipper here to show you, but we used to live on a farm on Kauai where they would take Gliracidia and make it into wood chips and then use it as compost. Just three ingredient compost, coffee grinds, Gliracidia wood chips, and cow manure, and that was a very potent mix. By the way, if you click the link right here, you can see back a few months ago, this mango tree had a, a bad fungus on it and we treated it with a homemade baking soda fungicide. So if you want to see that, Click that link, check it out. Clear it out and layer your Gliracidia leaves along the base. This is where the name Madre de Cacao or Mother of Cacao comes in because trees like cacao, coffee is another example, that need shade, in other words they need to be nursed when they're young, will often be planted at the base of Gliracidia uh, to provide a favorable environment for them to get started in. Now as an example to illustrate that, we actually had a lily koi or passion fruit vine, just a volunteer growing up at the base of this Gliracidia. Now I'm going to remove that though because those are growing everywhere around here and what I'm going to plant is a sickly black pepper vine uh, that I rescued. Okay, and now I'll just twine this vine or give it, get it a start around the branch and then the nurse tree, Gliracidia, mother of cacao or in this case mother of black pepper vine can do its thing and uh, hopefully we'll have black peppercorns coming in. So that is another use of the Gliracidia sepium. Okay, so propagation, this comes down to two techniques. Now, in my experience, when you plant from seeds, you get a much more stable root system going. When you plant from root, uh, from branch cuttings, it tends to be a lot, the success rate is like, I'd say 50-50 about. Um, and they just don't get as hardy and as fast going. But nonetheless, it is a very convenient way to plant them out. So you can see, right, this branch is all green. All that stem is green. But it's connected to a gray, woody, hardier stem. So when you're looking to take uh, a, a branch for propagating, you want to make sure you have a thick, hardy, woody stem. That's the only way it's ever going to take root. So I'm going to make an oblong cut right here at the base. And then what I'm going to do is just begin stripping off all of these leaves, all these branches. Okay. And so once you have it like that, no, you're still not done. You got to take off all these. You want just the very newest leaves that have yet to really unfurl still on the tree. So there you go. About that is good, right? I mean, even this one, actually, I'm going to take off. It's just these ones that are just unfurling. That's what I want. Okay, and then with my new branches that I want to propagate out, I'm going to first soak them in a bucket of water for about three to five days and that's going to help, uh, that's going to you know, basically fill, it, fill the stem up with water and help it to start to generate some new roots before I plant it out into the field and then it's going to have to, you know, make its own way in the world. And one more thing about chop and drop that's really awesome is the more you cut it, the more vigorously these trees grow. So like I just opened up all this space. What's going to happen now is it's going to explode out with a bunch of new branches into all that space and it just creates more mulch, more living mulch the more you cut it back. So it's just a win-win tree in every way really.
And a few weeks later now, you can see the difference. This right here is the Gliracidia that I planted from seed. And right here is a Gliracidia I planted from a cutting. The leaves are paler, a little bit yellow, not nearly as uh, vibrant and vigorous a growth. So that's one benefit in terms of planting the seed. You put it in a pot with good soil, and even though it's been transplanted out now to this soil, it's still vibrant and growing strong. Whereas this one, uh, it's gonna take quite some time for it to really get going. Click the link right here to see our whole Principles of Permaculture series. We're adding new videos to it all the time. We've also got Hawaii recipes, fishing, hunting type stuff. So if you want to see all that, subscribe and hit the notification bell, and we'll see you soon. Aloha.